in this video we are going to look at how do you do the accounting or how do you ascertain what is the new profit sharing ratio amongst partners when there is a new partner who's admitted and the share sacrificed by the existing partners is not known let us first try to see this graphically as to what happens suppose there is a partnership firm in which there are two partners a and b they are sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1 or in other words there is 2 third and 1 third profit which are shared by A and B. They admit a new partner C right? and C is given 1 third profit in the future profits of the firm. So his share is 1 third. But you don't know as to who has given how much share. So is it that this one third has been given by B? Is it this one third has been given by A? B may not be possible technically because his entire share is one third only. Or is it that some part has been given by one and some part by the other? In such cases where you do not know as to what is the proportion in which the existing partners, which is A and B in this case, have sacrificed or given up their profit share, we assume that both of them have given their share proportionately. Which means that out of his two-third share, okay, out of his two-third share, which A was getting, and one-third share, which B was getting, one-third, right, has come, how? It has come in the same proportion from A and B, which is that A has given two-third of one-third and B has given one-third of one-third. Let us see how this is going to happen. We need to find out what is the new profit sharing ratio. So in this particular example, we have Pari and Sarthak who are partners and sharing profits in the ratio of two is to one. So you have Pari as one of the partners, you have Sarthak as one of the partners and the ratio in which they are sharing profits is 2 is to 1 or in other words Pari is getting two third of the profits, Sarthak is getting one third of the profits. They admitted Arjav as a new partner for one third share in the future profits of the firm. So we have Arjav who has now come in and he is getting one third of the profits in the future profits, right? So in the new firm, the proportion of profits which is available to Arjav is one third. You need to find out what are the shares of Pari and Sarthak in this new firm, right? Now there are two ways of doing this thing. The first way is you find out what is the existing shares of the existing partner? Let's say in case of Pari, 2 upon 3 is what she is getting minus what she has given to Arjav, right? What remains is her share of profit. Similarly, you can find out what is Sarthak's shares of profit by taking his existing share minus whatever he has given to Arjav. So you will get the share of Sarthak. For Arjav, we already know how much profit he is getting. The other way of doing this is, you say that since both of them are sharing profits in a given ratio, they have given Arjav the share proportionately, which means two-third, which is the profit sharing ratio of Pari, of one-third, which is the new profit sharing of Arjav, is given up by Pari. Right? So her existing share is 2 by 3 minus what she's given up, right? You can get her new profit sharing ratio. Similarly, you can get it for Sarthak, right? So let's find it out by this particular method. So going by this, Pari's share of profit is what she has right now, which is two-third the existing share of profit minus what she has given up. And she has given up what? She has given two-third 
of Arjav's share. Right? So we have assumed that out of one third that we got, two third is given by Pari. So we get 2 upon 3 minus 2 times 1 gives you 2 upon 9. As I solve this, I take 9 here. 9 goes into 3 how many times? 3 times. 3 times 2 gives you 6 minus 9 goes into 9 1 times into 2 gives you 2. 4 upon 9. So this is the new share of Pari. Similarly, if I look for Sarthak, he has one third as his existing share minus what he's given up is one third of one third, which is Arjav's share. Solving this, I get one upon three minus one upon nine, taking nine as the least common multiple of this, you get 9 divided by 3 is 3, 3 times 1 gives you 3 minus 1 or 2 is to 9. And what was Arjav's share? Arjav was getting 1 upon 3 or if I just multiply it by 3 upon 3, why did I do this? 3 upon 3 is equal to 1 and it's basic maths that any number divided multiplied by 1 will give the same number. So we will get 3 upon 9. So the new profit sharing ratio between Pari, Sarthak and Arjav is 4 upon 9, 2 upon 9 and 3 upon 9. Or in other words, we can say it is 4 is to 2 is to 3. And that's the new profit sharing ratio. The other way of solving this problem, if I have to call it method 2, is what? We can also find out that if under this partnership, Arjav was given one third of the share, the remaining share which had to go between Pari plus Sarthak is equal to how much? It is equal to one minus what has been given to Arjav, right? Or in other words, we can say three, three minus one, two third is what is left for sharing between Pari and Sarthak, right? Now, under the existing partnership, how much was the share of each one of them? So Pari was getting two third of the share. Sarthak was getting one third of the share. Assuming they have contributed equally, out of this remaining also, both of them should get two third and one third. But of what? Of this remaining share. So if I have to find out how much is Pari getting, she is getting two third of the remaining, which is two by three, which is four upon nine. If I have to see how much Sarthak is getting, he is getting one third of the remaining share, which is two third, right? Or two upon nine. How much is Arjav getting? Arjav is getting one upon three or you can say 3 upon 9, multiplying this by 3 and dividing by 3, right? And the new ratio which comes in between Pari, Sarthak and Arjav is what? It's 4 by 9, it's 2 by 9 and it's 3 by 9, right? Or in other words, we can say this is 4 is to 2 is to 3. 